the three dimensions of level within you. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, it's a little um, nice. It's nice out, but it's getting ready to rain. But it's it, just a minute ago, it was very humid, like a sauna. <laughs> and apparently it was getting ready to rain because now it's raining. So all that accumulation of the uh, moisture in the air is now being released. But it feels good because now there's a little bit of breeze, uh, breeze. So that's awesome. So All right. Well, anyway, um, I just want to drop in and... Um, do a little topic here on what came in um, on the levels of the spiritual dimensions that's within us. Um, there's three, um, and it's on the plane of existence where we are. And from that existence, we can see through any of them. Uh, that's our awareness, right? And so uh, the dimensions are like the realities that we um, experience depending on where we are. Um, and with that, it's showing that we have, of course, our human consciousness. Um, and then the interdimensional, right? And then you have the higher dimension. So, of course, you have the third, which is your human self seeing from 3D, to what we call 3D or the human consciousness or the third dimension. Um, and then we have our interdimension, which is a higher consciousness, our higher self, our soul um, on that level, which is... Um, there for us to help guide us, and human consciousness is about doing. It doesn't know. It's it's an it's an unconscious level of awareness, and it's it's more about doing, which which we do. Humans do, right? <laughs> they do the things. Um, they have the experiences, right? And they create certain things um, through seeing through the third dimension, the unconsciousness. Um, so which is the projection of themselves onto the space, right? And so a squirrel is just a squirrel until you look at it as a beast, right? Or something else, right? Or a spider, just a spider. But if you have a fear of spiders, then it becomes a fear for you, right? And so that's the human consciousness, right? Your awareness to it is based on who you are, where you are, and what is your experience um, towards that thing. Um, and that's the same with like humans, right? And so if you're projecting onto another human, whatever's within you is going to be your dimensional reality of them. And so say a person is just a person, and, and when we look at them or, or meet them or have the experience with them, we project onto them what's here, what we're seeing about them, because they have so many different dimensions about them. You know, they have the three dimensions as well. And not only is it based on what we are, what we're seeing on them, because they may actually get along really well with another person, but you just have a conflict with them, right? And so how is it that they can get well, along well with another person where you have struggles with it? So it's you that's projecting onto them what you're seeing about them, which they hold within themselves too, because we hold everything on all levels within ourselves because we've had those experiences, right? And so that's the memory that lives within us um, that we're creating from, from the experience to have the experience that we're seeing, that we're reflecting on it. And so if they didn't have it within them, as we have it within us, then we wouldn't see it in them, right? We would see it in another person, then we would have the conflict with them, right? But because it's within them, it's coming up so we can see it. And so if you know what to do with it, uh, like to heal it and transform it within yourself, instead of blaming and shaming the other person for it, uh, then we would no longer see it because we would have transformed it, if that makes sense, right? And so that's the only reason it exists on the timeline, that we are where we are, um, having that experience with that individual or that person, that thing, or that place is our experience that's within us, right, which hasn't been resolved yet, which is on the macro and the micro levels. So from that experience, from that consciousness, we're able to take a look at it and become aware of it and transform it um, to help you to shift and grow. Um, into something else and so you can then have a different experience right you don't have to always have the same experience the same cycles the same patterns um, it's the transforming of it that makes it change and that's part of why we're here that is mainly actually the whole reason that we're here is to change the inner dimensions of who we are to a higher consciousness right and so that's is our purpose of even just being here right but we are not aware of that <laughs> on the human conscious but once we outgrow the human consciousness at that level 
the soul comes in, takes over more so and gives us guidance and lessons and learn and teachings. Um, and so if you are working on, you know, opening your abilities, which is part of the evolution, at some point you want to do that, um, to start honing those and working on those, you'll have a better open communication uh, with the divine in your soul. Right? And so the interdimension is the soul, right? That's what relays information between you and source, higher conscious awareness, where you are, what you're doing, having the experience and, you know, relaying the information back. And are you getting it or are you cutting yourself off from it? Right? And so from your soul's point of view, um, you know, it can only relay information back to source at that point. It can't get anything to you because you're cutting yourself off from that dimension, right? And that's when you're playing the fields here in the realm of re reality of the human construct, constructs of human consciousness, right? And not thinking there's anything else beyond and before you. Um, and so you're cut off, which is separation, right, from all things. So there's no relaying back and forth of information when you cut yourself off. When you open yourself up, then you're allowed to have that flow of energy and vibration. And so that's where a lot of people, they start going on so far out into separation and they don't think that there is any source or any God or any soul or anything like that. Um, that is a divine connection. So they become further and further separated. And so they may not even believe in it or they may actually start going into, you know, doing, um, things <laughs> that, that aren't good or going into the human consciousness constructs of that situation, that experience. Um, because if you think about it, um, when we're in the human concepts, because we, we don't understand and know that there's nothing else that is existing outside of us um, other than what we are. And so we become the experience and we get wrapped up in it. And so we then don't know ourselves from, from who we are, our source, right? And so we become lost in the experience and that's where things start happening um, to have the human concepts or the con you know the story right the ego uh, the um, abuse the situations that come up the traumas the suffering right is when we're disconnected right um, and so to stay connected we want to keep that line open and not be separate or disconnected or cut off right and so as we are evolving, you know, that line becomes more open and frequent and we can start evolving through and learning about who we are, our lives and why this really is and remembering who we are. And so at the point of conception, like I was saying in the other one, like we can only know so much in the human consciousness of the baby, right? <laughs> or even the egg or the sperm, right? And so from there we evolve and then we get to a point where we can then start becoming aware, right? And so we start opening up into the interdimension, which is our soul um, experience on that level, which is higher consciousness, right? So from that point, we're able to see, receive information, downloads, um, higher teachings, awareness, and we are evolving on the soul level because your human self can only evolve to a certain point before then it needs to die off, right? Um, and that is like your um dark night of the soul or the integration of the ego or the human consciousness it dies off right which i had that experience not fun um <laughs> to say the least um but uh, you go into more of the soul opening and you following that getting used to following that guidance right within you and so the interdimension is the relaying information from source that guides you from that side and so it's interdimensional that is just the existence, right? It exists. It doesn't do, it doesn't be, right? So it's the interdimensional being of who we are. It's the relation, the relating of the information between where we are, right? On the timeline, because there's the timeline of us, right? So the interdimensional, and then you have the, of course, the higher conscious, which is source, the higher dimensions, which is the being, right? The being of all, unto all, uh, the all-knowing, <laughs> the higher consciousness. Right. And so um, from that, you have like your source, which is love. And then you have all the streams of consciousness down to the absence of it, right, which is the lack of it, which is where all the, the stuff happens in the absence of it, because then we are so far separate from love that we don't have any understanding whatsoever. And again, that's where we play out all the roles of the experience um, from that level of awareness that we're at. 
Um, and then as we are moving up, uh, we are going more towards love, source, higher conscious awakening um, through the dimensional consciousnesses, right? So you have uh, you, the soul, and then source, right? And so the soul, just to kind of wrap it up, um, you have the human, which is the doing, the conscious level of the doing, third dimension, fourth dimension, which is the in-between. Um, and so that's more of the the awareness, the transformation, healing, um, and then also that's just the existence, right? So it's not being, but it's also not doing. So it's in between interdimensional. And then you have the higher, which is the being. So the being, existing, and then you have the doing, right? So your three dimensions of who you are in, the, in this form, right? Where when we're out here playing out in, in this form, this role. Um, now that doesn't apply when we shed the body, right? Because we go back to uh, the being on the other side, which is the knowing of all things. We're reintegrated to all that is on the other side, which is love, right? So hopefully that kind of puts uh, some things into perspective there. Um, that came in in a little download, and I was uh, not where I could get it right. Again, it, it comes in when, you know, a lot of times when I'm just walking in nature, it just comes in. I got to start carrying around a pen and paper um, just to jot it down while I'm walking because um, things just come in in the moment. I guess whenever there's a space that it drops in, if I'm not sitting or meditating. Um, but, uh, yep, that's uh, the um, what they call the three spiritual dimensions that are within you all right, any questions, drop them below, like, share, and subscribe. Um, it does help grow the channel and help others to have this understanding as well. Um, and so um, you'll be helping out a great deal, um, you know, with sharing the information. Appreciate it. Happy journey. Thanks for tuning in.